Hey, ladies and gentlemen, this is Carmine Sabia for Explain America. And after the assassination attempt on Donald Trump, the things we're learning are becoming more and more concerning by the day. Before we get started, please make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Those little things really help us out and they help our channel continue to grow. And if you're not watching us on YouTube, guys, please write in that address in the lower right-hand corner in the red there youtube.com forward slash at explain america go to our youtube page give us a like it's absolutely free give us hit the subscribe button and it really helps us out guys what we learn more and more every day since the assassination attempt on donald trump becomes more disturbing for the secret service for me for i think anybody protected by the secret service should be for every american and if you're a conspiracy theorist well, you're having a field day with this, and there's plenty of reason to have a field day with this. I won't espouse conspiracy theories here. This platform doesn't appreciate it, and you don't need me to tell you anything. I can hint strongly, and you can figure it out from there, but one thing that creates a very dangerous situation, as this expert in the video I'm going to show you uh, in just a few minutes, talks about is a very dangerous situation, and that very dangerous situation is that the American people have tremendously lost trust in the Secret Service. And that's something we can't have. You know, as a kid, and even as an adult, I always thought, well, the Secret Service, that's the best of the best. Nobody's getting past them. Our presidents, our people running for office are safe. I was distraught when I learned that Congress doesn't get that type of protection. That our congressmen and women and our senators are, are pretty much left to their own devices and their own security teams. If I'm not into giving politicians more money, but if I had my way, every politician, yes, Democrat, Republican, independent, whatever, every politician would receive government protection. They are targets. Gabby Giffords proved that, you know. Uh, Steve Scalise proved that. These people are targets, and they should be afforded that type of protection. We certainly can afford it as a nation, and I think we should. But should it be the Secret Service? Because clearly they're understaffed with a gigantic budget, which I don't understand. And now the American people have lost confidence in them doing their job. So I want you to listen to what this gentleman has to say here, because it's very poignant. And then in the comments, I want you to let me know if you too have lost confidence in the Secret Service and what you think really happened with Donald Trump. Well, and we find out, Ari, and this shouldn't surprise anyone, that in the wake of this attempted assassination of former President Trump, public trust in the Secret Service is down at only about a third of American adults now because of how this was handled. And that's dangerous because the aura, the myth of the Secret Service is part of their deterrent operation. People need to think it's a suicide mission. I can never even get close, so why try? And after fence jumping and now this, it sends a message that you can actually become famous and get away with things. Look, Laura, when I was at the White House and after the president would finish a speech and work a rope line, I would go stand on the stage where the president had previously been and watch the Secret Service do their job. And I would watch with awe at what these professionals, these men and women did. I considered it one of the greatest privileges of my job that I got to rub shoulders with the Secret Service. I'm a huge admirer and fan, but I am lost for words to explain what went wrong. And when you listen to today's news conference, the very basics of communications, command centers that would share information between local police, state police, and the Secret Service, it didn't exist. The site advance, where people make the designations of what is in the perimeter, what's outside the perimeter, who will have oversight, overview of those buildings, it just wasn't done properly, and we still don't have answers. And we still well, have encrypted phone apps that haven't been broken into yet. There is still so much distressing information going on. Well, we